Hello everybody and welcome to OHPW, the only wrestling EFET streamed live from the end of time, the beginning of nowhere, from hell! Woo, well, today we have matches. <laughs> I know this comes as a shock to many of you, but this is in fact a wrestling show. So let's go over them really quick. We'll start with our Jabroni Real Death match. It's Plumeria, the current quote champion unquote, versus Rick Too Thick, who's here because he lost to freaking Angus. Shame on him. Ah, uh, well. But after that, we have a. a nicer one, I guess you could say, because Susan Blades are. First and um, second longest reigning Hellweight champ. Tied second longest, I believe. Uh, but still, she, she was the first. She did the whole shebang, won the tournament, and was the first ever big champ that we had. And she goes against Kelsey Slaughter. Engines, one's called Blades, the other Slaughter. This is a very metal match. So, yeah. That's gonna be a thing. And after that, we got Wizards Not Allowed versus the Real Beer Float. How could we not have a Real Beer Float match uh, <laughs> during Pride Month, to be quite honest? Um, if we hadn't done that, it would have been a pretty big oversight, as they are a couple. And one of them's a, a barkeep, the other's a, a veteran from the Ice Cream Wars, I believe. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, yes. Well... After that, we've got Harmony Gray versus Hobo One Kavatki in, in just a match. They're gonna have a match. Basically, the former champ versus a person who is known for beating one very strong person once and getting a title for Ashford Assault, but not really winning, unfortunately, for them. But, you know, can't, can't win all the fights, I guess. And once that's done, oh my god, what the fuck, why are you... Okay, okay, I'm gonna accept this, I'm just gonna accept this. Uh, anyway, after that we got Pineapple versus Mimic versus... People are rolling out the big bucks today. <laughs> Thank you, but also, it's very rude to interrupt the person while talking, didn't you know? <clears throat> <sighs> okay, okay, maybe now I can do it. Pineapple versus Mimic versus Scalister versus Joseph Dub in a four way where everybody probably. Well, one person. It's the first fall match, so not everybody dies, but you know. It's a thing. And after that, it's Ego versus Leia Lionheart, just some two peeps wrestling each other. And in our main event, it's the big one Kayu Sakisaka versus Spitball. It's for the Dark Way title, and Kayu, a long time ago, has um, held this very nice speech. Um, about never giving up. She was at the bottom back then, and she's worked her way up. And this is her big chance, I guess. Where she could, you know, potentially uh, keep her promise of becoming a champ. Goodness gracious, everybody's here. Wow. <laughs> okay. But I guess it's time to simply begin. I can totally do that now. Just a quick setup. Here we are. These two beauties will be opponents. And, um... Uh, you know, one of them will win. You can bet on who will be that one. My money's, of course, on Rick Too Thick. <laughs> the entire reason Rick is here is because he lost to Angus last week. Um, he, he actually is very good, believe it or not. In his debut, he defeated Vacant. And he got a... A shot at the Hellweight title against Harmony shortly after. 
which Harmony won, of course. It was one of her biggest defenses, no pun intended, I guess. Um, because Rick's a beast. But let's see how this goes. Alright, let's just uh, give you one more minute for betting, and in the meantime, fire up this match. That is a very fortunate amount of coolness to have, Derry. Um, that's the starting coolness. <laughs> Ah. Everybody who uh, joins uh, gets, like, 666 coolness, because, duh. Mm. Just how we do things here. Of course, it took me a while to realize that, hey, I could set, like, a starting amount for people. It's hard, you know. Let's, let's rock. rock well let's rock okay so what do we got as always our weapons are a toaster oh my god yes we have a toaster we got a stapler we got a lightsaber we got a light tube boring uh a claw a chair and uh more and that's that's exactly guilty gear like it's not very guilty gear that's straight up ripped from guilty gear <laughs> oh a baseball bat look at that and what's in the- come on, just move over, I want to see what else is there. Very inconsiderate of these two to not play to my, uh, weird fixation with- Oh god, the light tube is dead. Another claw! Tube. Okay. <laughs> well, this is the Chaperone Real Deathmatch, which means the loser gets the title, and the winner gets to not have the title. Which is good, because it's a bad title. Uh, also, uh, after 15 minutes, the ring explodes. Now, we don't have a timer in the bottom right, but that just makes things more exciting. Oh man, Plumeria repeatedly poking Rick with the claws. Probably a smart move, to be quite honest, because Rick is, uh, you know, very resilient. He has this thing where he just kind of gets very exhausted partway through the match, and then comes back somehow. Um, fire pro time. Which is like seven and a half minutes real time. Yeah. It's twice normal time, essentially. Continue. Every time somebody does the baseball throw, oh good, we got poison miss, so that's there at least. <laughs> But every time someone does the baseball throw, I hope it's a move that actually connects. And you know, as with, do I. With Movecraft, maybe it can happen now. Who knows? <laughs> oh my I god! Just slam. on the bat, sitting down on her face. That's just prime Rick too thick there. It's your favorite. Ooh, it's a barbed wire. You don't simply lift up Rick too thick, Plumeria. Come on. Up on forearms. <laughs> oh. I'm on the big man over. Back to the lightsaber. This could be a... Lightsaber, like, makes people bleed really fast, so maybe... Ah, well. They're so hoping. Like, this would have been Plumeria's big chance, to be honest. Oh. He is bleeding! Yes, he is. That ought to slow him down bit. a little bit. Oh, a little bit like it's it's already on his chest. Oh, yeah, he got busted open a lot somehow. That might just be the lightsaber, to be honest. Even though the actual, like, lightsaber part didn't connect. I think Tameri is bleeding, too. Although not as much. Well, that's just a thing that happens in these matches. Yeah. Who wants the claws? Oh, 
Ah, oh, running oh, over to the, the other to the claws, throwing her on it. Ooh, very close. I got... I got no idea how far in we are, but can't be that far. Well, you know, time's an illusion. It's an illusion, but sometimes it makes you blow up. Two count this time. I was hoping oh, there for a moment. The chair. Oh, she missed. Ah. <sighs> Come on. I as Lumeria. much luck with this chair. It's not that hard to oh, hit the target this big. Apparently it was. <laughs> We'll get a nice buzzer shot before the explosion happens, thankfully. Fighting over the toaster, or not. The toaster's the most deadly object in the ring. Drop somebody on it, legit. and that's it. That's a legit toaster, legit. yeah. It's not a gimmick toaster. That's also legit, it knocked someone out last week. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, it did. I almost forgot. Oh, what? Lifting up! Rig too thick! Power. And now she falls onto the lightsaber. What's this? Oh, the thick oh. tree roll! Could this be thick tree for Rick too thick? Three. Well, yeah. It is. No explosion this week. I wish the game didn't have that bug where it would play um, the default music for matches with no entrances. Yeah. Because uh, the Richter Thick theme was made by yours truly, and it's the best theme ever. But no shock here. Thick tree for Rick Too Thick. Uh, Alright then. I don't think I can play it. I should prep this more, but whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> now simply move on. Meanwhile, here's your coolness. If you're cool enough to bet on Rick too thick. Which automatically makes you very cool, of course. Next one has a former and first champ, actually, versus our deathmatch princess. Unfortunately, as far as we know anyway, there's no deathmatch stuff going on here. Like, not for this match, but hey, whatever. Here, you got on the left Susan Blades, former Hellway champ, and on the right is Kelsey Slaughter. Blades and Metal. I my girls. I can't believe we didn't have this match sooner. Well, technically, one's a princess, Alistair. Yeah, there's a knight. Kelsey Slaughter goes by Princess Slaughter sometimes. We rarely call her that, but that's uh, one of her monikers. I think I'm gonna go with Susan myself. <sighs> it's hard to bet against her. And you can stop that for one more minute.
and we'll simply hop in. Here we go. The one who will always be remembered as the first Hellway champ. And she could blade an infant on her faces if she could blade faces, which she could because I made a move for that. And here comes Kelsey with her bat. A trusty friend. Unfortunately, they'll have to wait at ringside. Because, hey, this isn't a hardcore match. You can't have weapons like this in the ring. Come on. Let's ringside, rock. though, that's cool. Well, Susan immediately in control, not a shock, but oh, wait. I spoke too soon. Yes. You shouldn't count out somebody who gets, like, cut up and crushed for a living. I mean, falling down, yeah. that's one thing, but uh, Kelsey does um, more extreme stuff. Technically, they both do. Yeah, but Kelsey does more of that. Yeah. And again, if we think back a couple months, uh, Susan was probably oh. part of the most brutal match that we had. When she went against Nero Sin, who somehow won his freaking retirement match against Susan fucking Blades. I still can't believe it. That's why she's wearing the face paint, by the way. Because she started bleeding really hard in that match and just kind of kept that as a bit of a memento of that particular time. Well, we're pretty even so far in this match. Yeah. Strat exchange. Just face punches and uppercuts. Oh, Kelsey won that one. Oh, we can see. Oh, I was hoping oh. for a big corner move, but nah. Nope. Come on. Didn't even go for a dive. Come on, whatever. <laughs> well, it was in the corner. Probably wouldn't have gone too well. Maybe later. We're still really early. Maybe the cool stuff will have no stunner oh. here. Stunner. Oh, oh god, going spear. for the spear whiffs and gets punished. Oh shit. Oh no. Prey slaughtered. <laughs> one! One! To fucking hell! <laughs> Susan gives no fucks. For those of you who aren't to know, that was uh, Kelsey's finisher. Yes, it's called Prey Slaughter. <laughs> she doesn't do it this soon in the match normally, but I guess it was worth a try. Come on, do ramp spots, you cowards are. Uh, uh, we can't all be ego. <laughs> oh, you reminded me of that now. <laughs> oh well. Ego will appear later tonight too. <laughs> Hopefully not to return to his home planet again. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, big dog! And just gets up immediately because it's Susan fucking Blades. This is... Oh, tower hack bomb. One, one, two, two. The last person who defeated Susan, um... Well, it was Grace, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Hmm. Our current had the hell match. Yeah. Oh! Ooh, fuck. Just throwing her up and whipping her down, not even Continue. landing on her shoulders. Oh, oh again. more of that. Prey slaughtered! Rejected. Two oh, bad ropes exist. Ropes. Kelsey sure wants to win this, she doesn't know- Oh god, again?! Oh. I mean, can you blame her? No, but... Oh, what? Th that was no rope break. She just kicked out before the ref could even come up. Oh god, choke breaker. Oh, choke. Dropping her on her face. Oh. Continue. Taking her down. Continue. Oh my god, there he goes, there's a splash! Oh god, it's... it's th these girls need to get away from the ropes. Yeah. Knee drop. Followed by... Another knee drop. Oh god, maybe another Susan can go down again, but maybe the tide will turn, I don't know. Oh no, it's Kelsey again. That's classic Susan. Brutal power bomb, it's not even trying for the cover. Again. Continue. Continue. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness! Again. This time in the center of the ring. Can't escape. One, two, 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 two. fucking hell. Ooh. Kelsey really wants that win. This match oh, is already no, going here. longer than most of Susan's matches, I think. Maybe. She might be out of her element here. Oh god. Like, with the punishment oh, Susan two. has taken, any move could end it now. Has Susan even tried to win the match yet? I don't think so. No. Well, she's been getting beaten down a lot. Because Kelsey's been going all out. She's been tanking most of it, as you can see here. Doesn't seem to face her too much. Oh, now we're going outside. This is Kelsey Town. Oh. Not even oh, picking up her bat, is. though. Oh, but oh, Susan! Oh. Susan wants to play! Oh, God, a glass oh. pane! Fuck! Oh, onto the light tube. Oh, God, Susan! Oh, no. Susan! Oh! <laughs> Very close. Oh! Right. 
Last pain in the face, shit. Ah, it hurts. Continue. Continue. Come on, this is our second match. <laughs> Susan won't go down. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason she was the freaking champ. Oh, now we're going up, though. Oh, oh God! I think... I think Kelsey has a chance if she can just keep it up. Some of the chants aren't working though. Ah well, that's what I have later. Anyway. Oh stunner. Continue. 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 Oh, continue. See armbar now. Continue. Switching it up. Continue. Legs weren't doing it. Oh my oh, god. Oh, again. What, 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 what? Bray slaughtered again? One, One two, two, three! Three. Shit. What the fuck? This is a big Kelsey win for it. Kelsey. Probably her biggest win ever. That's true, actually. Wow, uh, they they went like <laughs> Susan didn't use Nightfall once though. She didn't, didn't use a lot of things. She yeah, I don't know. Kelsey was just on the offense the whole time. Yeah. Never let up. Got to do that if you want to slaughter that prey. Well, I didn't expect this outcome, but here we are. Here we are. Up next, we got us a tag bout. Which I'll have to set up real quick. Will be Wizards Not Allowed versus the Real Beer Float. I'm not sure why I have so many wizard races in HP Valley. There. Here we go. Which of these teams is cooler? Well, I know which one I think is cooler. Wizards Not Allowed is quite the odd pairing, actually, now that I think about it. Somehow that didn't occur to me until, well, now. Oh my god, there's... People really believing! <laughs> really believing a lot in Wizards Not Allowed! Hmm. Well, it's because they're wizard races, you know what? Ah. Uh... Also, I guess it's a Space Station 13 thing. I don't even know. But we got a couple wizards too, um... <laughs> so... They sometimes have to fight. <laughs> and it usually gets really heated. Well, one more minute to place a bet, if you wanna. 
and uh, after that, we'll see Doink and an Engineer versus uh, Real Beer Float. All yes, George Clooney, yeah, yes, yes, and all George Clooney can say is honk, as far as we know. Uh, it really pisses off. Although apparently understand him. They can't understand him, but it still pisses him off. They are a married couple. Yes, they are. They run the milk bar together. Let's rock. Let's rock. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Immediately! Immediately going down. Ah, oh, God, come on. <laughs> going from Jesus Christ. Chief Engineer gives no fucks, apparently. Oh, evenly matched in the strength department. Well, I would say yes, ball's not allowed, but our uh, resident ball buster is a different person who will also be appearing later on. These two don't normally go for low blows this much, as far as I know. At least not in the matches I've seen, which is all of them. But, you know, I'm not shocked. Sprinkles overpowering the clown. Well, he's probably the strongest uh, person currently in the match. Get the biggest arms for sure. Well, you gotta have power if you're gonna fight the ice cream haters. Continue. I still have no idea what exactly led to the ice cream wars, but. I'm glad that the right people won. Yes. Fought for the right to have more than 32 flavors of ice cream. Look, Tom, I have yes, no Tom. idea either. <laughs> Continue. The thing is, this is like kind of a pocket dimension that exists outside of time. And everybody from anywhere and anything can come here and just wrestle. That's the entire thing. So sometimes you even got two versions of the same person fighting each other. That happened in the past. Once. Ooh, deadlift suplex. Chief sure is a lot blowing mood today. HBW special. Figure four. Not a maneuver I would expect from Chief, but then again, he's also low blowing much more than usual, so <laughs> do I know. I mean, he is an engineer, so he does do technical work. Ooh, Ooh. Reversing that and falling with a complete shot. That was a uh, fast thinking from Chief there. Continue. Oh, 
Ooh. That's uh, more or less an abdominal stretch, but a weird one. Pump handle abdominal stretch. Here comes Austin. Oh yeah! Go do your thing, Austin. Oh. A striker change. Well, Austin is uh, somewhat of a striker, but oh, well. Doesn't mean he can't go down. Continue. Continue. What if one of these people has a neck crank in the repertoire and wins with a neck crank? And history will have repeated. <laughs> Knees to the head. Here comes the clown again. Yeah. Oh shit, the latch hold. Can you? Clown manages to escape. I almost thought we'd see a fucking Isuna drop here, but nah. I don't think he does that. Oh, I think he's getting pissed. Probably. Almost got a corner and move, but alas, no. Rejected. Big punch. <laughs> Having him run right in the fist. I'll never get tired of that. Well, almost all these voice lines are from, uh, from Guilty Gear. One, one, one. Only one count. Uh, this is far less bleak than Doctor Who is. Oh uh, shit! The um, clown splash on the wrong person. Yeah. Oh, getting sent to the outside. Might as well. I call it the clown splash oh. just now. <laughs> That's the first time we gave that move a name, because it is, I believe, George Clooney's finisher. Yeah, it's called something else, but... Oh yeah! I don't know what it is. Well, clown splash is what it's called now. Big knockdown punch. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, fist drop. Fist drop. Uh, so the dipping drops. Continue. Oh god, George is retreating. Why is he so? Top rope move in their corner. Oh my. Shit. Continue. Part of the zone. Also sometimes called a single leg Boston crap. Depending on who you ask. Oh god, lifting him up! That's going to be a shitty move to be locked into. Oh, I'm an armbar. I've seen a lot of submission from both sides. I mean, from real beer flow doesn't surprise me too much. Because they do that shit, but... You know. I guess Chief decided to fight fire with fire. Oh! <laughs> Sending oh, him oh. through the clown. Can't be happy that George isn't following. Yeah, George is just watching now. Hey, you got this, bro. <laughs> All the way to oh, a glass pane. Oh. oh. 
Axe almost gonna fall onto it, and oh, it yeah. is, in fact, Chief. Fist <laughs> drop. More, more dip and drops. Or dip and drops, yes. Yes. Oh, another uh, one. Need, need. Yes. The trifecta of dip and drops. Yeah. Need to remember my list of ice cream puns. A sentence. All his moves are ice cream puns. God, that's just. Impressive. <laughs> uh, okay, what the hell? Oh, uh, that's, that's classic Wizards Are Loud, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we're here to see. Oh my, that's... Oh. Real close. Yeah. <laughs> Going for the pin on the person isn't even in the. Ah, whatever. That's just a uh, classic George Clooney too. More dip and drops. I'm on the clown. Oh my! What? Continue. Continue. It looks like uh. Like, Austin has faith here. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no, this, this is the, the clown splash. <laughs> what? Another? Another clown splash! That, that would have been it if it wasn't near the ropes. Also, they weren't in the hostile corner. <laughs> Ooh, he dropped to nothing. <laughs> Oh, Canadian backbreaker! Oh, God. Stunner! Uh, the Cold Stone Creamer. One, two, oh. No. Oh, sending him to the ramp. Yeah. Or corner of the ramp. Yoshi Tonic now. Oh, my God. Nope. Oh, come on! Okay, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be a dip and drop. This is gonna be another move. Top rope punch. If only you'd go for the orange crush sickle. Oh, God! Oh! Clown finishing <laughs> with a clown move. That's what clowns do. Uh -oh. oh my. A pattern in George Clooney's matches is that he never wins with his finisher except, like, once maybe. <laughs> Oh well. That sure was a match. They pulled out all the stops, and then it ended with a freaking neck clock. <laughs> that was a perfect finish, though. <laughs> well, but our next match is. Um, uh, Harmony Gray versus Hobo One Kivatki. Um, Harmony being a former Hellweight champ, much like Susan, and Hobo being a former challenger who was thwarted by Susan. So, also Hobo beat Vacant that one time, and Vacant um, bit a little bit of a hiatus right now, but still probably the strongest person who ever wrestled for OHPW. So much so that we There's don't really uh, count losses uh, against him as like a, a, a losing streak or something. There's a vacant vacancy at the moment. Uh, fucked up if true.
Well, here we go. I can't not bet on Harmony. But again, there's a reason why I just listed uh, all of Hobo's achievements. I mean, you never know. We did get an upset two matches ago, so... <laughs> the thing is, will, will Hobo take this match seriously? Uh, let's just have one more minute then, I suppose. Was our Hellway champ until the current champ and her best friend in the world, Grace Thorson, beat her for it. Yes. Oh, and here's Hobo. In full gear. It's ring gear. Ah. Hobo is taking it as seriously after all. I didn't think he'd even know. Oh, apparently he got the money together to get his ring gear back. Oh, never mind, he's in his underpants now. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> sure. Let's was run. using his ring gear as entrance attire. What a fool. It was on bone, but only for that one minute. Well, the thing with Hobo is that he's really, really, really tough. Then again, Souls Harmony. Come on, oh, I, I was waiting, I, I was waiting for them to actually connect the move. Oh well. But yeah, Hobo being a former vacant killer, the first vacant killer in fact, and Harmony being, well, one of our best champs yet. Yes. Wow. Oh, into a choke. Hobo, right back to his tactics. Oh, ducking the, the close line. Oh god. Who's gonna go down first? Apparently oh, Hobo. Oh, you're right! Hobo is a legend. It's just... It's just, well... He couldn't follow through on his legendary achievement, unfortunately. Not yet. If you can beat Harmony though, that would be a thing. That would be a second big upset of the night. Because I don't think anybody thought that Susan would lose her match. Probably not. Ah. Uh. Oh. First some legit oh. cool forearms, then a low blow, because of course. So many low blows today. And Joseph Smash hasn't even happened yet. Yeah, watch as he does with not a single low blow. Oh, rubbing her face on the rope. Well, Rosa, would, would you be surprised if I told you? I mean, you would be. But, um, Harmony lost her title. Due to a leg submission.
It was a shock to me too, believe me. Oh, the heel to the back of the head. But the thing is, um, Hope has a really hard head. Outside. Oh, he should hobo. Oh, didn't fucking care. Oh, good. <laughs> He's fine. It's fine. I'll cut to the back. Oh god. Oh no. In the Dude. face. Yeah, out of harmony. Uh, I guess that could be bad. Put the leg drop. Oh, my Pokemon. What? What? Oh my god. What? Oh, <laughs> missed. Uh, that was good. Oh, come oh, on! At least he's wearing underpants this time. Not like in one time we did that move where he wasn't wearing anything. You have no idea where I stored that brass knuckle. Just storing it behind this floor box. Oh yeah! Here goes Harmony! One, two, two. two. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> very close. Oh, what's this? It's... Oh, nothing. <laughs> Jesus apparently. Christ, horrible. You set up the cool shit, but you don't do it. Ah, oh, oh. yeah. Fighting into a power bomb. We'll win. Oh, Hobo, apparently. And now it's going up high. With a fucking swan dive head, bud. Thankfully, his neck is invincible. Oh, big chest laps. And a fist drop. Running fist drop. Um, it's a deadlift now. One. Oh my. Ooh. I, I, I almost fit again. on that. She hasn't locked in the arachnid's grip yet, but... Oh, there we go again. Deadlift One. spitting. One. Two. Um, Two. Three. three. And she got it. Well, that is the outcome I expected, as opposed to the Susan match, but, you know, anything can happen. And even here, like, it was still up in the stars what would happen. Thanks for the raid, Lolo. Hello, Retro Rank Gang. But, uh... I'm hearing something. I think. Let's check it out. It's backstage.
Oh, we got a challenge. <laughs> but we've also got a new match coming up. Look at these beauties. We've got Pineapple, who's a literal pineapple. We get a Mimic. A newcomer. Skellister, who's uh, a skeleton. But hot, apparently. Mm. <laughs> and Joseph Dub, our just low blow king. We'll see how this goes. See, they've got so many people believing in Pineapple, but no one believing in Joseph Dub. Ah, oh, well. But Joseph Dub's come around, he's no longer kicking dogs. He's now stealing them and giving them to the poor. That's what he claims. But I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, so I'm betting uh, uh, for him. Stardy, there's good news. It's probably a lie. I mean, actually, it's bad news, but ah, well. I you know. Let's do a thing where I give you one more minute to bet and begin the match. And yeah, if you bet another time, that just negates your first bet. That's a thing you can do. Ooh, our newcomer entering first. I wonder what they'll bring to the table. Good question. And Pineapple! You've been a pretty decent run. I mean, together with their tag team partner, Cheese Pizza. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Joseph, having stolen Palpatine's music, I don't think he's gonna give it back. Probably not. And here comes the mimic. The thing with the Mimic is that um, if it doesn't like at least transform into a chest sometimes, it doesn't even matter. Let's rock! Oh yeah, let's rock. Oh my god. Oh, rest Joseph, right down. <laughs> going to Low Blow City immediately. This is first fall, by the way, is whoever pins or submits or, well, eliminates first, I guess. Ah, oh, god fucking hell! Canadian Destroyer, Joseph, retreats! <laughs> yeah, wisely so. Oh, what the fuck was that? Ooh. That was just rude! <laughs> god, Mama Bear's already bleeding. Yeah. Spear Ooh. now. This doesn't care at all whatsoever. Never surrender. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It says a lot about your match oh. if the first person to, to get color is your ref. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lobo to Mimic. Ah, well. Joseph's sure a superstar of low blowing. Oh, just to the outside. Oh, and he's got the light tube. Oh, man, just it breaks it over the there. Doesn't care. <laughs> Break a light tube over me? Well, whatever. Here and uh, Joseph wisely follows up on it. Oh, maybe even started a mimic. Oh, Joseph's back outside again. This time with mimic. How rude. And Scalister, meanwhile, has to endure the airplane spin, the most devastating move in pro wrestling. Not sure that's oh. what they signed up for. Joseph's got the lightsaber on the outside. Makes sense. He was previously, uh, like, employed by a Star Wars guy. <laughs> oh, the claw. Just an eye rake on Mimic who doesn't have eyes. Lid break. Through the knees. Oh, oh uh, no! The absolute madness! Ref disqualify them! That that doesn't that's not a real wrestling move. That's killing the business. Uh, sorry, Eggy. There's apparently no DQ in this match. I know. <laughs> Oh no! Double this is the dragon that's done by Joseph. <laughs> oh. Yeah, fuck Joseph to the outside with you. Again, well, that just means he can get more weapons or not. Poison Rana against a person with no head. Destructive. Triple team. Oh, <laughs> failing to interrupt it because they're idiots. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Joseph won. What? When did that happen? He uh he did like a neck crank move to mimic, and apparently that was enough. <laughs> I didn't even look at him. Ever. Like it happened so fast I thought he got kicked out of. Joseph steals a lot of things, including victories. <laughs> God damn. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, well. It is how it is. That went... Like, normally these matches last a while, but... Joseph just took it. Stole it. Yeah. Not only a dark thief, but a a just straight up victory thief. Ah, oh, goddamn. Well, I didn't expect this at all. I uh, thought Joseph was the least likely to actually win, but here we are. Oh well. Our next bout will be Eagle versus Leia Lionheart. So, uh, we're waiting for the contestants to get ready. Eagle, of course, has quite the story. They, um, they were the 
second longest reigning Chabroni. Third longest now, I think, because Plumeria surpassed him and lasted Kaya, who's in the main event. But basically, Ego disappeared for a while after getting rid of the Chabroni Royale to, um, to get a new direction, you could say. And came back um, quite formidable, actually. So there we are. And this is Ego as well as Leia Lionheart. Leia being made of rock. I legit can't remember what Eagle's last match was. Hmm. Putting me on the spot here, too. I can't come up. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't too long ago, but I forget what it was. Oh, right, the tag match. Or he got counted out. Oh, that could be it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was definitely it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. I am... I remember now. Uh, well, but you got one more minute to decide who's gonna be the one to take this away. Once those two have finished their bout, we'll uh, follow up with the main event of Kayu Sakisaka versus Spitball. Somehow, he has a very large head. That's what happens if you're called Ego. And your finish is called Ego Mania's Running Wild, or also the It Factor. And there we go, Alea. Made a rock. The Stone Pitbull. can change your bet as long as... Oh, what? They're bro both well, already close. Too bad! Well, let's see how this goes, though, because I got no idea. They're both people who, like, by all accounts, oh, are actually doing really well, but also they're both on a losing streak. So, whatever happens in this match, one person, unless they have a draw somehow, ah well, but one person will have a win! We just started Alistair, so... <laughs> yeah, the... Hard to say. Ego has not really done anything yet that would indicate that they're winning or losing. In fact, nobody has. Oh. oh my god, what the fuck? Oh. Didn't know Leia could do that, but she can. Start trying some more technical stuff against uh, Ego, who's also Can doing you? a lot of, well, Technical stuff sometimes, but sometimes it's really flashy too. Like, Ego's got probably the most like finishing maneuvers out of everybody. He's got Egomania running wild, which is a running headbutt. They got um, a top rope swan dive headbutt, which is called the Super Ego. Got Orienteering with Napalm Death, which is called the It Factor. And uh, probably some more. One, one.
Meanwhile, uh, Leia's got the Make-A-Wish, which is a Moonsault or Shooting Step Press. I forget, they're the same move, just one is cooler than the other. It's a Shooting Step Press. <laughs> Answered by a fucking kick. Right to the face. And Zagiri oh, targeting the neck now, as well as some other body parts, just for good measure. Almost decapitating him to make a wish, but it's too close, way too close to the ropes. No. It still hurts, though. Counter Brain Buster. Uh, the grounded OHP dub special. Oh, come on. Why are you gonna do Last this? again. Start out the match with it, basically. Yeah. It's another Make-A-Wish. Another Make-A-Wish. Too close. I don't think she wants to finish it yet. She just wants to, like, hurt him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was one way to dodge. That move. <laughs> now they insecurity after an arm rake. Arm rake. I say eye rake. Arms and eyes are not the same part of the body. Unless you have eyes on your arms. I mean, fair enough. Huh. Here we go. Oh, this could be a... Uh, make a wish to the back. Going for it. One. One two, two, two. No. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, oh. we're going for a murder! Ooh! Damn. Suplex on the apron. Oh no, oh, the lightsaber! The Can rocks bleed? We'll find out. I think Eagle caught that. Gonna get that blood from the stone. No matter what he gets to do. Spear. Oh, fuck. Make another wish! Oh! Two, um, two, two. My god! Ooh. Damn. Oh, uh, what's this now? Holy oh. shit! Oof! Oh, that's new. One. Two? No, oh god. I almost bought it. I think Eagle is bleeding. Yeah, I think so too. Not sure how, but... Actually, but... Uh, they They're fell on Suplex the lightsaber. The yeah, also they fell on the lightsaber and everything. <laughs> Oh, oh, the it factor. Oh shit. Dang. Continue. Continue. Not yet. 
just exchange blows for the time being. Freaking headbutt from the person, the big head. More, oh god, Eagle Mania running wild. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh, 3.1, 3.1. No, Ego! Oh. You already won! You fucking... God! Sure. Okay. <sighs> God damn. God fucking damn it. Well. Ego Mania runs wild once again. Surely it does. I was hoping the Make-A-Wish would actually do it, though. Ah, well. Can't have everything, I guess. But now it's time for our main event. Kayu Tsakisaka. Probably our biggest underdog. Beat Kochi Kochinaka last week. Impressively, too. Just decided, okay, I'm gonna do all my sick moves now and win. And she did. Oh. Funny how that happens. Hmm. I, we saw that happen earlier in the show. <laughs> yeah. What, what's all impressive about her winning against Koji is that Koji won the Dark White title in his debut match. The title that is currently held by Spitball. The title that Caillou is now competing for. So. Yeah. Here we go. This is probably the most important match of Kaio's career so far, especially since she like held her Never Surrender speech a long while back and promised that one day she'll win a title. And her ascent from zero to where she is now is quite impressive, actually. So I'm pretty excited for this one, to say the least. And I am rooting for Kaio. I don't care how metal Spitball's arms are and his feet and fucking everything. I don't care how many of his organs are artificial. I want Caillou to win. Yeah. Reminder though that Spitball, regardless if he wins or loses this, has a date at the pay-per-view with Vacation Skelly. Yep, that is true. Uh, at the last pay-per-view, fuck the police, um... <laughs> Vacation Skeleton won the title match against Spitball via count out. Which means that uh, the title didn't change hands. <laughs> but, uh, well, let's give this one more minute for the bets. And we'll see how this match goes, because this is a... Uh, bound to be a good one. Here's Caillou! Current champ, Sabitball. He was a bit upset over losing his last defense via countdown, so he challenged Vacation Skeleton. That's the thing we just talked about. So, yes. win or lose, whether he has a title or not, he'll face Vacation Skeleton in two weeks' time. Let's rock. Let's go. Can Caillou keep her promise of winning a title one day? Well, even if she loses, she might still. But if she can do it on her first try, that's gonna be, well, very impressive. Hasn't she already won titles though? Uh, she's the jabroni, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Isn't she also a two-time uh, Seven Days League Pins champ? Oh, yeah, she is the that Seven Days Pins champ, but that's like a, a lot like a, a singles title, you know. Uh, I think 
It's also a bunny champ. Like the thing is, um, the thing is, the uh, Samurai Pinsel is the hardest to win and the hardest to defend. But also, it's not the most prestigious. <laughs> The dark way title, however, is always, uh, or almost, oh god, a kip up, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> almost on par with the hellway title, just a bit lower. You can't not root for Caillou. I mean, yeah, you can, but that would make you a horrible shark, you know? Ah, oh, crap. Paradigm shift. DD, it's, it's a DDT, I guess, but the paradigm shift is like a double underhook one. Oh, come on! Spitball showing a strength. Kaya's gonna. Win by other means than just brute force. Good for her that that's not her usual MO anyway. Rejected. Oh, through the corner. Come on, Caillou. Oh, I think he was going for the runner there, but goddamn. We're already to nope, twos. Countered. Guy who's taking all the hard hits from this guy who has metal fucking arms. And he's using them too. Rejected. Yes. Oh shit, we're going out now. A wrench! Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, for sure, on the wrench. On to the wrench. Yeah, they're outside. Rob, not a bad move, to be quite honest. His head being uh, one of the parts that's still not made of metal. Oh god, a torture oh. rack. But they're. Um, oh no. No! Oh, no! no! What the fuck? Wow. Okay. What the fuck? First? First he... He says how mad he is that he won by a count or lost by a count and then change... Ah. And now he does this? What the fuck? Oh. I don't know what to say. Perhaps he lied. Perhaps not. I, I, I have no idea. I thought he was the honorable kind for a second there, but... But this is... Well... This is just... I know, maybe he's trying to make a point or something. I don't even know, but fuck. Fuck that guy. Yeah. And denying Caillou like this too. Shit. That's the rudest shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Is this the lowest ranking we've ever had for a match? No. Four <laughs> percent. No, it's not. <laughs> I think we're oh. lower. Oh, what a oh. fucking idiot, spitball is. I mean, idiot. He he must have done this on purpose. Perhaps he wanted to keep the belt. Verification, Skelly. I have no no idea. Oh, I think he didn't need to keep the belt. Massive dick move, though. Massive fucking dick move. I I can't. I don't think Caillou would be happy about this. And neither I am would I. Imagine not. Neither am I. I'll think of something. Whatever. No one's happy about this. No one is. Except maybe spitball. Spit. I fuck. I thought he was a good guy. Like he was. The, I know he looks a bit weird, you know. But I don't like to judge people by their appearance. He's had a hard life, I assume, considering most of his body parts are replaced by, like, prosthetics and stuff, but... He 
just don't do that. You don't complain one day about losing by a countout, and, and then you win by countout on purpose. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Oh well. Whatever. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I believe that friend of the show, Action Shakespeare and Public Opinion, are doing a charity stream right now. I'll have to see. I don't know what, what channel they're streaming to right now, but... Uh, public... It's uh, Shakespeare's. Okay, good. Because Public is currently doing a Fire Pro thing too. It overlapped with ours. I will rate them now, because I can. I encourage you to stick around. And... Assuming their Fire Pro thing is still going on, but other than that, you could still just stick around for the charity thing in general. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, well, okay then, everybody. Thanks for watching, and see you again next week when I don't know what's gonna happen yet. We'll see. Goodbye. Bye.